Hello YouTube. Today I wanted to go over for you this new mini toolkit that I've put together. Uh, this is what I'm going to keep in my get home bag slash overnight slash emergency backpack. And before we get into this, uh, credit where it is due. I got many of the ideas from this from this gentleman's channel, uh, Simple Little Life. And the video is My EDC Toolkit. Uh, the way he had his laid out, I liked quite a bit and took a number of ideas from. It's the same pocket organizer, um, same tool check plus and some other stuff. The organizer itself is the Maxpedition EDC Pocket Organizer. I thought for sure this was the wrong one at first because of how small it is and how thin but it puffs up enough that it fits everything quite snugly. All right, well, let's, uh, oh, hey, Roxy. Let's go ahead and get into this. First up, the kit weighs just over three and a half freedom units, or for the rest of the scientific world, uh, 1.602 kilograms. So, let's open this up. So, for materials, there isn't much in there. Um, a few zip ties, because generally useful. Alright, let's uh, start on this side and work that way. There are a few different people that make this. Uh, this is the Vim Tools version. Icon also makes this wrench and some others. I'm not sure how many. It is an extremely useful quarter inch drive slash quarter inch hex ratchet. Uh, fully functional reversible, or reversible ratchet. And it has this little notch there that if you line up with that white dot, uh, it will slide through and give you a T-handle. You can also connect this, fold this over to give you leverage, and you have a long reach driver, either for quarter inch square for your nuts, or sorry, uh, your sockets, or a quarter inch hex on all these magnetic for your bits. It's a really clever, useful little thing. Line this back up. Next up are just good quality precision tweezers. Uh, these are Heiko brand or CHP brand, the 3C SAs. Uh, they're really nice needlepoint tweezers. Very fine point, very sharp. Uh, you can really get at the splinters or whatever uh, if you need. Here we have just a three foot extendable mirror. I get so much use out of one of these. I, I keep one in a pants pocket. Uh, usually more is a reaching tool than a mirror. And when you combine that with the couple of little coin magnets that we have here, uh, the magnet will stick to this, but it's pretty thin metal so it doesn't stick strongly. So if you sandwich two of them, then you have a really strong magnetic bond. And you can go and grab stuff if you drop something, drop a screw down somewhere hard to get and pick it up. Uh, we'll get to what's back there at the end. So this is a modified Vera Tool Check Plus Imperial. Um, I took the standard inch rating sockets put them on this, swapped them out for metric, because the imperial sockets, I'm using this Klein Tools 7-in-1 uh, swappable. That's a really compact way to keep the most common size sockets there. And since it's quarter inch drive, it's compatible with all the wearer stuff and compatible with our ratchet. Uh, the Tool Check Plus, you probably already know about this. It is a wonderful little thing. Um, it's so cute and itty bitty. 
So I swapped out the same metric sockets that are on the metric version of this. Um, I haven't swapped any of the bits yet. I probably will, given that this isn't meant for everyday use. I don't need the multiple duplicates of the Phillips II or the multiple duplicates of the Robertson. Um, so I'll probably swap some of those for spanner bits to give me a little more versatility. Um, if this was an everyday use item, having duplicates of the most common ones that you'd eventually lose or break, that makes more sense. But this is for uh, having an occasional once in a while use backup toolkit. So those will probably get swapped. Milwaukee Inksall is just one of the better permanent markers I've ever come across. Uh, I use them all the time at work. Uh, this is the little screwdriver handle uh, that comes with the Vera kit. This just pops off. It uh, has little rubber bits. You can squeeze it down and it'll come off. It's something you can put back on so it comes off non-destructively. Otherwise, uh, no, it goes like this. You would have this right like here and it would normally fit right there and look like this. This will fit with that on but it fits more nicely with it off and it saves me a lot of squeezing everything into place um, and it fits fine just there next up just a little mini pry bar uh this is one of uh, a set of three of stanley wonder bars i think they come in a set of three this is the smallest one and i just wanted a, a small pry bar for general utility uh, no, let's get to the Nipix in a second. This right here is a Samoir, I believe, folding scalpel blade. Uh, it takes standard number 11 scalpel blades. Very sharp, of course, and surgical scalpels. I just wanted to have a backup blade, not for any heavy work, that was nicely sharp, uh, just for small tasks. Okay. Nipex. So here we have the 150 millimeter versions of the pliers wrench and the Cobras. Um, if you know Nipex, you know about these. They are excellent little pliers. They open up very wide. The jaw design um, lets you grip on and just a little bit downward force there will hold the thing together. You don't have to squeeze to maintain pressure. Just pushing this one side down will keep the jaws positively locked. Um, similar principle for this. Very nicely oriented jaws, uh, opens very wide. So even though they're pretty short, you get a lot of utility out of this. And then I knew I wanted cutters. Um, it was either this or the six inch version of these. Uh, these are the Nipex side cutters. Uh, these are my favorite side cutters ever made, uh, the eight inch version. Um, the six inch version doesn't have that nice little uh, pinky fold. And I didn't quite like the shape of it compared to this. I didn't feel like I would like it in my hand as much as the 8 inch, and the 8 inch wasn't going to fit in here. So I decided to go with what would fit, but give me the most uh, cutting utility slash cutting force. So I went with the small version of the Cobalts. Um, and even though it is small, you still have that additional leverage there, and they're very good utility. Behind here we have a bit more material. Uh, this is aerial lashing wire. Um, it's used in telecommunications. It's just a stainless steel uh, foldable, bendable wire. Uh, you can easily bend it to whatever shape you want. It holds that shape. And this is about 10 feet of it right here. So if you need a different long reach tool, if you need to do small repairs and tie something together, or uh, say secure a screw wire fastening style, or wire securing style like the military does. Uh, just as a general material to have handy. 
Okay, behind here. This isn't exactly part of the toolkit. It's something else that I had in the pack. I always kept a pick kit in there. And I was looking to consolidate space and also update this to modern picks because they had old, uh, I had like an old kit in there. It was ancient. So we have the Sparrows Mini Gym, uh, Right Hand uh, Mini Plug Spinner, just four picks. You don't need all that many. Two rakes and two hooks. Uh, you have the uh, Bogota profiles, the triple peak and the double peak for rakes, and uh, just two different depths hooks. I'm not sure if you can see that, but they do both have uh, little indents. It's more visible on this one, but it's grooved so it'll uh, more easily hold on the tip of the pin of the lock as you're manipulating it. So, good design. Uh, these are from Sparrows, as is that. Beyond that... Uh, we have the Sparrows decoder tool for uh, the El Cheapo rotary combination locks. Two sets of three each, uh, regular turning tools, bottom of the keyway. And a set of five uh, top of the keyway pry bars. Uh, for top of the keyway tension. And if this looks extremely cheap, it's because it is. Uh, I spent a lot of time doing the opposite of what I normally do and looking for the cheapest, crappiest little organizer in the right size profile that I wanted to fit in there on Amazon um, because I was looking for a thin material that wouldn't bulk up this much. Um, before that, I was using just a little ID card holder, which worked fine thickness-wise. It didn't add anything, but it wouldn't hold anything in organization. They'd all fall in the center and clump up. Then I tried uh, this little thing here, but it has too much material. It was too thick, and uh, it made this bulge too much for everything to close up nice and comfy. And that's it. Uh, that is the new toolkit for my get home bag. All right. Have a good day.